People often ask me, Esti, do you miss home? I will tell them, no I don't, because Sweden is my home. Home to me is somewhere where you feel safe. Home is a place where you feel loved and appreciated. Home is where you can be yourself, not judged by family members. It can be a 9 meter square space. It can be up in the open air or even in a tiny house with roof over the head and fireplace that keep me warm. I don't need to live in a big luxury house to keep me happy. All I need is a small happy place close to the nature. Where I have time to have peace, a small garden to plant my vegetables, so I have food on my table when there are crises. This is quite exciting and challenging for me as I'm new in gardening and every day I learn something new. It feels good not to depend on others and I can imagine if the props is successful how happy I can be. In my previous video I was busy removing weeds from this three layers planting box. LG want to remove them totally because the top two layers has been rotting. We decided to keep the bottom layers so that I can use it to plant vegetables and strawberries. After a few days of hard work, I managed to remove all the weeds and refill the box with more fertile soil. Do you remember those plants and herbs that I planted indoor in my previous block? Now they are out in this planting box. This plants has been waiting for a long time to get out to the nature and I just hope that I do some justice for them and that they are able to survive and maybe a happier healthier lives. Being alone in some countries is like a taboo but as I grow older I find that being alone is a process of finding peace in within. We just need to know what is important to us. I want to be able to live as close to nature as possible. Today, I built this fireplace by myself. I call this my nature living room. I don't need a 60 turn TV in front of me. Just the scenery in front is my television set and the fire will keep me warm throughout the night and a nice company, maybe a glass of wine too. We didn't spend a single cent to create this nature living room. I found this old wooden furniture from LG's backyard and I just felt like it blend into the nature naturally. It's really cozy to sit here in the evening, cuddling my loved one, my man and those cats. We have been sitting here all nights on a few evenings, sipping wine and smelling campfire. Our cold, long winter has been made up by our midnight sun. I just love the spirit of the time. It just fills my soul with pure happiness. I find that sometimes I don't even have enough time for myself. Luckily, LG is the peaceful, happily positive types. Otherwise, life could be different. The type of person you are with will affect your happiness. Nowadays, I do not easily let people into my life. I'm rather selective when it comes to friends, even family members. I've been hurt by my own family over and over, so it is very difficult for me to come in terms and accept the fact that blood is only blood. We are only related by blood. 
Can you believe that my own family are ashamed of me being a YouTuber? Anyway, I'm glad that they are far away so they don't get the opportunity to hurt me anymore. I truly do not need a lot of friends to be around me. Just a couple of friends that are supportive and willing to listen is enough. Life is too short for drama and explanation. To be happy, we first have to put ourselves in the first place. And we are truly happy, things around us will start to change. The better, of course. We shouldn't care too much about what other people think about us. In my case, if my family is not happy for what I do, it's their business, not mine. We can't simply please everyone. We are not responsible for others' happiness. I'm still so glad that I created this space for ourselves in the nature. Those furniture may be old, but they are very comfortable. Today we have a very early dinner, so at 10 o'clock we were really hungry. So I decided to take out some sausages and we are grilling some sausages as supper. So this is how we eat. First, we toast the bread and then we fill it up with some potato salad. They are made of cream fresh and potato and with some herbs. So what we do is we put the sausage on and it's ready to be eaten. This is also very nice with pickled cucumbers. The sausage is very nice eaten with some mustard, but we don't have it today. But LG seems satisfied. Whereas Siri, on the other hand, she still couldn't decide where she should sit. Most kids in Sweden move out at around 18, 19, 20 years old. So our cats are like our kids. And I really like this system because the system enable or train our kids to be independent, not like countries in Singapore where kids still live with their parents until they get married. And some even worse, depending on their parents to cook for them even at 35 years old. I'm so glad that my daughter is not spoiled that way. She's so independent. She has her own apartment, a job that she support herself with, and soon she's gonna get further education. As a parent, this is so comforting. Knowing that our kids could rely on themselves and not on us, so we could have our own life especially when we grow older. I believe that being a parent, it is our duty to train our kid to be independent. As life is not a bed of roses, our duty is to build the wings for them, teach them how to swim, and if possible, fly on their own. It's nice for them to come home to seek comfort once a while. Providing them a cushion to fall on and help them wherever we can. It feels nice to get my thought out of my chest and I'm so glad for those of you who are still around to listen. I'm so happy that I have so many new subscribers recently and I hope I could do a fixed live streaming, maybe some Q&A soon. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. You have no idea how much this means to me. I hope my video makes some sense to you and if you do, please like and share.
Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next. Bye.